Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, and today we're looking at the 1v1 Specialist LMG, otherwise known as the BAR Storm. Now, if you end up finding this video helpful or enjoyable, then I genuinely appreciate you taking that split second to hit the like button as always, and with that being said, let's analyse the BAR Storm. Now, I'll open by saying that the vast majority of you likely already know that the BAR Storm is a very strong weapon, but lots of you seem to enjoy these weapon reviews, go into the ins and outs of the weapon, and it doesn't feel right to leave weapons out just because they're obviously strong. Wrong. So, the BAR Storm's main strength is at close range and particularly in the aforementioned 1v1 situation. It's absolutely lethal here due to it having the current highest rate of fire of any support weapon. It just drops people. So if you traverse the map ready to react to an enemy head on, then you'll win the vast majority of one on one engagements at close range if you can get your shots off first, or even sometimes second as long as you can keep your damage on target because of that high rate of fire. But it's not just a close range monster, it's also a strong mid range contender as the the vast majority of support weapons are. Once again just try to get your shots in first but this time pull down slightly to control the recoil. As for long range, well it's obviously not the BAR Storm's strength but it can actually still do decent work here. It has surprisingly low damage drop off for a weapon that's so effective at close range and it has high bullet velocity so the bullets don't take very long to reach the target. It does have pretty noticeable visible recoil though at longer ranges but the bullets don't actually spread as much at range as this would make it appear. If you pull down a step side to side when necessary then range targets are well within your grasp. So what are the BAR Storm's weaknesses? Well the clear cut obvious one is the magazine size. It stands at just 20 rounds. With the BAR having the highest rate of fire of any support weapon, this does feel small. It definitely empties quickly. It means you're limited to 1v1 situations most of the time, perhaps 2 kills per reload every now and again. 3 at the absolute maximum if you're very lucky. It's not a great option for flanking mass ranks of people or taking multiple people head on. You simply can't put enough damage down range before you need to reload. You'll also find yourself pulling your pistol out fairly regularly for the same sort of reason. On the bright side though, the reload animation is pretty quick which helps to mitigate this flaw at least slightly. The other weakness would be its lesser hip fire ability when compared to the trench variant of the BAR, however it's still reasonable and its ADS capabilities are more than strong enough at close range anyway. You'll just need to avoid strong hip fire weapons at close quarters when possible. Overall the BAR is at least decent at the vast majority of ranges and in most situations as long as you're not trying to take on too many people. It's the run and gun weapon of choice for the support class currently, at least until the Parabellum gets fully released because that weapon is a close quarters monster. I'll link to my early look at that weapon in the description if you haven't seen it, it's well worth checking out if you enjoy aggressive play. But for now, the BAR Storm is the 1v1 specialist LMG, although this is just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm GetGoodGuy and I'll see you next time. Laters.